couch dogs need the lesson Hey there, Lincoln Riffers, how are you doing? I'm Asaf Levavi and I welcome you to Finally Understanding Chords, the full 10 lesson course on chord theory for free right here on Lincoln Riff. Um, in the following 10 lessons, we're gonna unlock the guitar neck in everything to do with harmony. Everything to do with chords on the guitar, I'm gonna show you to the best of my abilities from the basic position, minor and major chords. Even if you think you know them, it's best that you watch the first lesson because uh, I explained the structure of the chords and we're gonna build on that in the following lessons. So the first lesson is very, very important. It's not just what the chords are, it's why they look the way they do. Um, and we're gonna build on that and look at all the embellishments, the sevens, the minor sevens, the major sevens, the nines, the suspended chords, the flat uh, five, the sharp five, thirteens, elevens, diminished, diminished sevens, augmented, everything. Um, and even more complex chords with more than one embellishment. So uh, from basic chords to jazz chords and everything in between, we're gonna touch everything in the following 10 lessons. But I wanna dedicate this introduction to tell you uh, the most important thing that we're gonna touch again and again in order to unlock the chord theory, uh, which is the order of the embellishments in the scale. Usually when music theory and chord theory is taught, you're talking about the uh, order of the notes in the scale. But I personally haven't seen many teachers talk about the embellishments in the scale and that causes all the confusion. Uh, you see numbers, you see different names, different embellishment types, and you have no idea what they mean unless someone shows you a shape. But, and here's the important thing, I'm not gonna use tabs, well sometimes I'm gonna use tabs when absolutely necessary, but I'm not gonna use diagrams. Diagrams make you lazy. I want you to understand why the chord looks the way it does on your own. I want you to understand the concept of chord building on the guitar and just giving you a shape, telling you that this is a flat nine jazz chord won't, will give you nothing because you won't understand what notes are inside that chord. And that's what I wanna do with this series. I want you to understand the chords deeply. And <clears throat> sorry, and uh, you see I'm very enthusiastic, so um, it's also physical for me. So um, for example, what is this? Okay, it can be three different chords and I will show you why. It's not enough to know shapes. That's the first important thing that I want you to know. Now, let's talk about the embellishment order of the scale, okay? Um, the 12 notes of the, uh, you know, the musical uh, method. In Eastern music, you have more than 12 notes because you have chord notes, but in Western music, you have 12 notes, the chromatic scale, right? The whites and the blacks on the keyboard, 12 notes. So those 12 notes are uh, a sequence of notes and you all know their names and, uh, and some of you know their position in the scale and how they relate to each other. But I'm gonna talk about the embellishment order. And the, the title slide that we're gonna see most of the time on the screen is, uh, is this one. We have the first note, the root note of the scale itself that we're playing, the root note of the chord uh, that we're playing. It's the one. The one of the chord is the bass note of the chord, not always, but most of the time. So the one is also the eight, because if we have uh, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, we have C again, the eighth note, so one is eight. That's very important because then you know um, when we're gonna break down the structure, you'll know where the eight is in the chord and then you'll know where to put the nine, where to put the seven, okay, where the major seven comes in. It makes everything a lot easier. So one is nine. Two is the nine because if one is eight, then two is nine. And that's why you have add nine, but sus two. They're two different chords, and we're gonna discuss that. Um, but it's important to understand that between one and two, you have the flat nine, okay? Because if two is nine, then between one and two, you have an extra note there, the flat nine. 
The third note in the chromatic scale is the minor third. The minor third, if you have a minor chord, you have the minor third. We're going to discuss that. The next note, of course, is the major third. So uh, we have two threes. We have minor third and major third. And that sometimes creates confusion for beginners with different chord shapes on different string sets. So it's important to know that you have two different types of third. And the next one is the fourth. The fourth note is also the eleventh note. Okay, four is eleven. And uh, next you have the flat five. The flat five is used mainly in diminished chords and half diminished chords. And then you have, of course, the five. Now, um, those of you who know chord theory will, <clears throat> sorry again, probably wonder why I'm not mentioning the structure of the chord by now. We've discussed the one, the three, and the five, but we'll save it for the first lesson in the series. This is not the first lesson, this is still the introduction. I'm introducing the embellishment, um, the embellishment table. And after five, we have sharp five. Remember that, sharp five, Okay, now let's move on to the next one. The next one is six. The next one is the sixth note, and the sixth is the thirteenth. Okay, if two is nine, four is eleven, then six is thirteen. Now let's go back to sharp five. Sharp five is also the flat thirteen. Okay, and, uh, and for some chords you will call it sharp five. For some chords you will call it flat thirteen. Okay, depending on the type of chord you're playing, how complex it is. Okay. Bear with me, we have two more notes. The minor seven, okay, the seventh of the minor scale, and uh, let's not keep her out of the loop, of the petting loop. Um, we have the seventh of the minor scale, so that's the minor seven, and we have the major seven, the seventh of the major scale. And that also creates a lot of confusion, and I'm going to dissipate the confusion when we have the seventh uh, lesson, which is the second lesson in the series, because the sevens are the most important uh, embellishment of all. They're the basis for all the more complex chords. So, uh, I'll see you in the first lesson. You have fun, and if you're confused, just refer to this lesson, to this table below. Just refer to this table, just refer to this introduction video, come back to Take your time and you'll do fine. Now go to the first lesson about chord structure, basic chord structure. I wish you a lot of fun and uh, I will see you in the next lesson. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.